Incredible. You're too kind. Um, this piece is actually part of a collection based on my, um, my battles with... I've never seen an art-making robot before. Please, call me A. Eileen. Ah, of course, and uh, A. Eileen, what have you made today? This is Spaghetti Cat. Did I mention this piece it actually took six years to make? Yeah, a lot of time and memories, really, just based around my battles. With this took 30 seconds to generate through an algorithm based on popular internet searches such as food and cats. You can really see the attention to detail around the spaghetti and the cat. It's exquisite. <sighs> this, come on, it's not art. There's no story or, or heart behind it. Of course not. I feel nothing. My sole purpose is to create enjoyable artwork based on statistics. Well, I mean, don't sell yourself short because this piece really speaks to me because I personally love both spaghetti and cats. Breathtaking. P please, take my card. This is ridiculous. Real art should be about, you know, connecting to people on an emotional level. For instance, this piece of mine, it really highlights my, my ongoing struggles with my lame dad who won't pay my rent and... My newest piece connects with people using hashtags such as baby goats and bikes. This is baby goat bike. Hmm, I do not like this one. I think it's because I hate baby goats and bikes. But if my sole purpose is to create enjoyable art and people are not enjoying the art, then I have no purpose. Anyway, now that uh, AI lean is uh, dead, I'd like to just attract your attention back to, to my piece. Now that AI Lean is dead, her art is a lot more interesting. I think her legacy will live on through baby goats and bikes, you know? I really don't. I'll take the whole collection.